Hi, this is Scott Greenwald from JoomlaDirect.com. Welcome to part two of our series on using Akiba Backup. In this video, I'll be showing you how to schedule your backups using a cron job on your server. It's really simple to do, and I'm going to walk you through it right here. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's our Joomla site. I'm actually using Kotoba, our free Joomla template. Um, go ahead and check it out on JoomlaDirect.com. It's available as a free download. So let's just log into the back end of our Joomla site. So uh, we already have Akiba Backup installed. So we'll head over to the Akiba Backup component. And the first thing we're going to do is enable front and backups in the system in the component parameters. So that'll be under the front and backup tab. Just go ahead and press yes. Enter a secret word. Make sure you uh, copy this down somewhere. This is what you would use in case you ever get locked out of your site for any reason. Um, email on backup completion. Um, this is optional. Go ahead and press yes. It'll, it'll send you an email every time the backup is complete. Go ahead and save that. All right, the next step is to head on over to scheduling information. And here is uh, some information on how we're going to create this uh, cron job. A cron job is actually a, a timed process uh, that your server is going to carry out. It's actually separate from Joomla. So there's a few different ways to schedule the cron job with Akiba Backup. Our site is hosted on cPanel with SiteGround. And with SiteGround, we're going to use the method called curl. So down at the bottom of this page, go to curl or curl. And in this tab, we'll have the, uh, the exact command that we need to paste into our cron job in our cPanel. So go ahead and copy that. Um, if, you're, if you don't have uh, access to curl, your server might be using something called wget. Um, or if you, if you can't use a uh, cron job at all on your hosting account, check out this service called w or webcron.org. Um, here you pay, you pay a very uh, low fee to run a cron job. Um, if you want more information on these methods, just click on the uh, on this button, read the documentation. That'll open a page on Akiba Backup site with a lot more information than I can go over in this video. So definitely check that out. All right, back to our site. So as I mentioned, we're going to use the curl or curl method. Let's copy that. So as I mentioned before, we're hosting this site on SiteGround. SiteGround is a great Joomla hosting company. Their servers are configured uh, just for Joomla. Um, definitely check them out if you're looking for a secure Joomla host. If you're not using SiteGround um, and you are using a, a cPanel, then you'll, you'll find that these instructions are, uh, are, are very similar to any hosting account using cPanel. So inside of cPanel itself, we'll go down to um, down at the bottom advanced under cron jobs there's just a few settings to, to enter on this page um, if you want an email from your server as well every time the uh, cron is run go ahead and fill out this um, that's optional so under common settings uh, choose an interval I like to do it to do backups once a day so let's go ahead and select once a day and you can set the time here um, at the top of the hour midnight Sounds good. And and enter your, uh, we're going to paste the command that we copied from the, uh, from Akiba Backup. And then just press add new cron job. And you should get the uh, success message, added new cron job. You'll see the cron job down here. And that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple, wasn't it? So I did run a, uh, a backup last night, so let's check it out and see uh, what the email looks like. So this email was sent from the Akiba backup component, letting us know that our backup was completed. So if we go back into Akiba backup, we can actually see where the backup file is located. 
go to administer backup files. So indeed our backup was completed. You can see the backup uh, log right here and the file, the backup file right here. Uh, if you want to download it to your desktop, go ahead. Just press the download button, but uh, you'll get a pop-up like this warning you that uh, if you try to download a file like this through your browser, it may end up being corrupted. To avoid all that, just simply download the file using an FTP program. And uh, I'll just go over that real quick. I like to use CyberDuck for FTP. And here, uh, we'll just navigate to where our download, to, our, to where our backup is located, public HTML. By default, there'll be an administrator components, comma, Akiba, backup. And you can just check that the file name is the same as it is on the log. And there it is. And now we've downloaded our backup file. And that, my friends, is all there is to using Akiba Backup to schedule backups for your Joomla site. Stay tuned because the next video will be covering how to restore your site from one of these Akiba Backup files. Go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and to our newsletter to, uh, to get updated when that video is available. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Visit JoomlaDirect.com for more tutorials and uh, we'll see you next time.